Thank you, thank you. Um, they said, they said there was a teleprompter up here, huh? Damn. Yeah. Um, well, to calm the nerves, somebody gave me some advice about imagining everybody naked, but then I got here and the podium is clear. So, I'm not gonna do that. Um, so I'd like to begin by thanking Ms. Mero Julia, Ms. Sonia Braga, Mr. Jimmy Smith, Mr. Isai Morales, Mr. Felix Sanchez, for establishing this wonderful organization 16 years ago. I'm humbled by the recognition you bestowed upon me, and I'm inspired by the tremendous energy flowing in this room full of so much influence and talent. Winning a scholarship from the National Hispanic Foundation of the Arts will help me pursue my dream of becoming a filmmaker, which is was a dream I packed away neatly in the deep recesses of my mind for many years. Like most Latinos, I come from a long line of strong women. My grandmothers, it's true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> my grandmothers ventured from the warm island of Borinquen to the cold city streets of New York City in 1956. With nothing but the clothes on their backs, they toiled long hours for little pay in factories while my grandfathers struggled with simpler things like keeping jobs and staying home. They came with hopes and dreams for themselves, but also for their children and eventual grandchildren. My mother's mother, Aurora Martinez, AKA Mamita, <laughs> was a silent role model of hard work, perseverance, and good Christian morals. She was quick to dale pao pao to whoever was asking for it. <laughs> quick to tell us that the cuckoo was coming if we didn't go to Mimi right away. Quick to slather a glob of Vicks across a congested chest. Quick to cook a delicious meal and quick to pray for whatever any of us needed. Mamita divorced my grandfather soon after I was born and immediately she started working on her dream of owning a home in her barrio of La Luna in Guanica. She would often skip lunch while working in a belt factory in order to save money to send back home to Puerto Rico to the men building her home. It was her dream and it took her 13 years to get there, but she paid for every stone and circuit herself. A few years back, as I dusted off my filmmaking dream from the mental shelf where I let it sit deferred for so many years, I noticed that my grandmother stopped wishing for me to get married and have babies. But what she started, she started asking or saying was that she just wished that my dreams would come true. And the lessons I learned from her watching, um, from watching her allowed me to push toward the dream. And over the last eight years, while working as a full-time high school English teacher in the Bronx, I co-founded Hollywood Productions, BX. Yeah. Um, um, I made six short films, a sketch comedy series on public access television, was elected president of the New York chapter of National Association of Latino Independent Producers, acted in a feature film, Gun Hill Road, starring Eastside, uh, directed by Rashad, a former recipient, um, and uh, ha had an epiphany in Brazil, um, quit my job, got accepted to NYU, and now I'm editing a web series that I wrote and directed called Pushing Dreams that you saw, a, a little clip. And um, it tells the tale of a humble beginnings of a fledgling film production company founded by three friends from the Bronx. And the show focuses on the struggles and successes of two Latinos and a Latina as they navigate the deceptive waters of the independent filmmaking world while struggling with the demands of work and family. It will highlight the ups and downs of the main characters as they hustle toward a common goal. Through this series, I plan to show the hard work, dedication, and perseverance that it takes to accomplish a dream. Hopefully, it inspires the audience, like Mamita inspired me, to never give up on the pursuit of your passion. Thank you.